There are a number of mistakes in video editing that aspiring YouTubers make. And in this video, I'm gonna show you tips that will make your videos on YouTube at least 10 times better. Hi, my name is Arthur and welcome to the Molloy Vlog. There is a statement that video editing is where a story is told, but I don't completely agree with this. The story has already been told and shot, the story has already been formed. Editing is all about creating an unforgettable experience, about finding the path for the audience to experience the story. And you're probably thinking, it sounds beautiful, but what does this statement have to do with my YouTube videos? What editing techniques should you apply to your videos to improve your content and give your viewers a new you an experience. All this will ultimately help you increase audience retention on your videos and get your videos recommended more often. So let's get started, editing techniques that every YouTuber should know. In the tutorial we'll be using the Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021, it is perfect for quick video editing. The interface is intuitive so you won't have to learn. All the basic tools you might need as a beginner are already there as well as the convenient presets. The first mistake is repetition, when we don't have a clear screen Script, we can naturally repeat what we've said. After all, we're only human. We can talk about the same thing in different styles, but it is still the same thing. Remember that any repetition should be cut immediately. Any repetition makes the viewer bored very quickly. The main thing here is not to cut down too much. The point is to cut the repetitions down so that you can understand it in a short time. Trust me, this tip alone will make your footage like 50% shorter or more. The second mistake and a tip is the pacing of your videos. How to determine a bad pacing of a video. If you have a desire to set the video speed to one and a half or two times faster, then the video has a bad pacing. Pacing is a very important tool that will keep your viewers throughout the video. Imagine how boring the video would be if we didn't cut out all the pauses. For this reason, we use jump cuts. Jump cut is basically a rough cut. For example, you say something, then you cut out the moment where you said something wrong, and then you keep on with your speech. In films, jump cuts are mainly used for style in very special cases, and in other cases, it is considered a mistake. On YouTube, it is a usual thing because we wanna increase audience retention. And when you make jump cuts, do not leave the small gap between the shots. You need to connect them so that the first audio ends exactly after the last word and the second audio begins exactly with the first word. The main thing next is to add a smooth audio transition. But even this is sometimes not enough for a proper jump cut. And here's how to do them correctly. Keep your eyes always at the same level of the frame. People focus on your eyes when they watch your video and if your eyes move to the side when cutting, it will distract their viewing experience. In the editor, right after the jump cut, increase the second frame not only by scale, but also by moving it down, keeping the eyes at the same level. This small tip will make your edit much smoother. And if you're just starting your career as a YouTuber, I advise you to pay attention to the annual subscription of Movavi Video Editor Plus. It may be a very good option for a beginner. Its price is lower than the price of a lifetime version. You get the 12 month access to all the features and updates, which is enough for finding your own editing style. And when your subscription runs out, it's completely up to you to decide whether you want to renew. Basically, it's just more convenient than starting with complex and expensive software for pros. The one-year subscription of Movavi Video Editor Plus will be available at 15% off by the link in the description or pinned comment. I want to tell you about a very important technique so that your edit will go silky smooth, the J-cut. J-cut means that the audio of the second shot starts playing a couple of seconds before the video of the second shot starts. And here is the reason why it's important. If we make a regular cut, Cut, then when switching to the second shot, the audience needs to process two sources of information at once, audio and video. But J-Cut allows viewers to process audio first, then video, and it feels more organic. Don't use them all the time, but it's very useful for transitions. If you don't have a second camera, here's a tip that will make your videos more interesting. Just fake a second camera. After the jump cut on the second shot, mirror it horizontally and zoom in a little. It will seem that you have a second camera. Here I want to give you a piece of advice that sounds terrible. Kill the ones you love. 
When we shoot a cool video from the latest examples, let's take the skier video, we're constantly faced with the fact that we shoot more footage than we need and they damn look cool. Of course, there is a desire to show everything and somehow fit them in your video. What eventually begins to happen is a mighty bunch of the same type of shots that are repeated over and over again, but from different angles. Therefore, it is often necessary to make a difficult decision to kill many favorite shots in order to keep the original idea. You know, in big productions, a director can sometimes be prevented from editing and one of the reasons is psychological. The director shot all this, he remembers all the footage, all the difficulties, but the editor does not. Therefore, an editor with a fresh mind can roughly cut down all unnecessary shots. And you should imagine that you are this editor who does not stare at the beauty of the shot, but does everything according to the structure. In addition, you will not only make the video more interesting, but also make it shorter. This way you respect the time of your viewers, not making them bored. YouTube is filled with cliche shots from a drone, typical B-roll, slow motion shots, but if these shots do not allow your story to develop, you have created an unmotivated sequence. Make sure that each shot is motivated. For example, if you've added a drone shot and they ask you why, if you don't have an answer, then your video will slow down, become boring and the audience will click off. Each shot must have a reason for its existence. This leads us to the next tip. Don't rush to make your videos at least 10 minutes long. Yes, if you have more watch time, you will most likely earn more, but usually chasing this 10 minutes mark, you might unintentionally start making the video less interesting, the pacing of your videos will decrease, and there might not be enough footage to fill this 10 minutes with. That is, in general, your video will become more boring and people will quickly turn off your video, which is going to kill your audience retention and watch time. Instead, make your video as long as it needs to be to make it interesting. Stop focusing on collecting more watch time and earning more money. Focus on the quality of your time, not the quantity. If your video is 10 minutes long and it's interesting to watch, make it 10 minutes. If it's 6 minutes, leave 6. Audience retention is more important than watch time. By the way, for this reason, YouTube has reduced the time for you to get an extended monetization from 10 minutes to 8 minutes. By the way, you can get themed Movavi add-ons to adjust your built-in media collection to your own taste and needs. The Movavi effects integrate into the app, which makes applying them very convenient. And you can access the Movavi effects store right from the program. Here, for example, are two sets that are well suited for YouTube channels. The Let's Start a Vlog effects set includes four popular packs such as My Channel Pack, Click the Bell Pack, Elegant Vlog Pack, and Soft Minimalism Pack. All the effects were created specifically for YouTube, so it has everything you may need for creating a consistent stylish look for your videos. The handy set was made specifically for drawing viewers' attention to certain elements of a video. With the help of this set, you can make highlights or add captions that will go with almost any video. The set includes both eye-catching and neutral effects. The one-year subscription to Movavi Video Editor Plus and both effects sets will be available at 15% off by the link in the description or pinned comment. If you have a part of your edit that inspires you do it last. First of all, do the hardest, the most boring, and leave the most interesting for the last turn. This will motivate you to continue editing and not get tired too quickly. This will be your cake at the end of the editing process. Do not underestimate music. Music allows you to consolidate the feeling of your video. This is the quality of the emotional experience that you create with your content. And the best way to destroy this quality is to choose the wrong music. The video will start to look amateur, weird, and sometimes awkward. Awkward. Therefore, always take your time for finding the best music. Another mistake is poor footage. It might be that some of your footage are poorly recorded. Don't worry, just add some B-roll. It can be your own B-roll footage or stock footage or pictures or text. B-roll will not only hide the poor footage, but will also make your video more interesting. Click on this video if you want to learn more about creating content. Smash the like button if this video was helpful to you and I will see you in the next video.